Hey everybody! Hi! Welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about emotions. Um, something that us ladies deal with a lot. And um, I'm pretty sure Danielle also wrote a blog post on emotions. Yes. It's been a while since I read it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think it was the meltdown one, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Pretty sure. That was, yes. Um, that was a great one to write. I actually really enjoyed doing that one. But oh, how do we start? Um, I think uh, a good question would be, well, like what, I mean, maybe what stems us into acting or getting into those um feelings right i mean emotions are based off of our feelings so and for me especially thing anything can trigger it really um and i mean when i had wrote the meltdown one when i had started it i was just talking about one of the girls i had worked with she was ups she was pretty tired and she is emotional as well, but I think being us being tired also does make us more emotional. When we're yeah. tired, it's just like things overwhelm us mm -hmm. um, more. Right, and she and who knows? There could have been she could have been hungry. There could sorry, excuse me. There could have been a multitude of things going on, um, but she did not like the choices I gave her. And it's not that I was trying to be mean to her, but I'm like, this is all I have. And it was in that it just screaming, crying, throwing herself everywhere. And it's hard to watch that because it's frustrating because as you're the one you're, I, it's like, I was in my reasonable mindset, but they didn't understand it. And for them that destroyed, that was like the end of the world. So and I think when we're in, when we're in that, mm -hmm. we don't realize it either. We're just, all we are thinking about is how we feel in that moment. Right. And it's like, we can't step outside of it and like, look at it from the outside. It's very right. difficult. And I think there is like a actual, uh, there is a term for it. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there is a term for it and for children. And it doesn't happen. It does happen with adults too. So the strong emotions now, there were times where she was like kicking me or hitting me and it's like our emotions, emo being emotional and having emotions is okay. And there are a lot, a lot of people will say, well, no, you can't be emotional, but it is okay. But it's how we are acting or reacting when we are in those emotional situations. Now, obviously hitting and kicking somebody is wrong. Um, but that once you can get past that emotional thing, then we, then to address it later. Yeah. I know like when, um, my son is really upset, trying to reason with him does not, it doesn't get me anywhere. I have to actually let him get his feelings out and whether that's crying and screaming or whatever, I just, I let him be off to the side. And then at some point I just tell him while he's upset, I say, well, when you're ready, like let's have a yep. conversation. And probably about like five, 10 minutes later, he does come and he says, okay, I'm ready now. Right. So it's just getting past that initial Ah, feeling. <laughs> yeah, and that's and even with her, like there, I, there came a point where it was long periods of time, and she would have a calm moment, but then she would get right back up again. So, it, and I finally had to hug her, and until she fell asleep, that she was tired. So it's hugging is so great, though it fixes mm -hmm. so many things. Yes, it hugs does. are like <laughs> awesome. Yes. <laughs> so it's the idea of in being able to let that emotion out in a safe way. Right. I agree. If there, if there's a, not a safe situation, also in a safe place too, right. I think like sometimes if my son is doing it in an area that is not okay, you know, I have to actually pull him and you know, we have to go either get in the car if we're at the grocery store or something. Mm -hmm. Um, but just getting him outside of like an area that not that it's not safe, but just in a place that's going to be, you know, not crowded with a lot of people because 
it's that's makes it harder I think mm -hmm. especially on a mom too like I <laughs> Yeah, Makes it harder on me because I'm like, people are like looking at me like you can't control your kid, and that's not necessarily the case. It's just, you know, you have to be able to kind of step outside of it and um, take care of it when you're alone with your child or alone with the person. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to go over emotions and how to handle them how, what the Bible teaches about it, you know, from a Christian perspective, because I spent a long time, honestly, believing that my emotions were bad and I couldn't feel a certain way. And once I realized that it was okay to be emotional, as long as it's not, you're not sinning, then it's okay. And from someone who I do suffer from a slight disorder that has, that affects my emotions, I have very strong emotions and that's been and to finally be able to know how to better manage them has been it's freeing I guess that's the best way I can feel like I feel more free than I ever have so that's and there are women who do struggle with emotions and I want to be able to help in well we want to be able to help other women to be able to or even young girls be able to know how to deal with that in a way that's healthy for them and that doesn't do more damage to anything right. around them or even themselves. So what do you do in a situation where you're like more emotional and you're right. trying to like kind of calm yourself? If I'm at work if or if I'm anywhere out in public, that that's a little bit diff harder. And so I try like, my... Like right where you can't escape. You where mean? I can't escape to be alone. Sometimes I'll try to go off into a bathroom or somewhere private and just cry. Um, but other times I try my best to conceal it until I get home and then find a, my, you know, whether that's, you know, in my room or taking a bath. Those are usually my go-to relaxing and... Right. So like get yourself in a... So when you can get out of the situation and totally be free to have your emotions be completely open and you're vulnerable, mm -hmm. you just uh, find some something or, or a place that is the most relaxing. Right. Yeah. So, and I pray and I cry and I have a meltdown and yes, I have had ugly sobbing times and... And but just honestly, praying. I think some of those ugly sobs, they're so healthy for our bodies, actually. Mm -hmm. So, like, when I cry sometimes, it is like the deep, heavy cries. And I feel like my body needs to get rid of that mm -hmm. um, to, like, heal. Right. Because when you're pushing all of those emotions down, it's harder to and it actually makes it harder to get through the day because you're pushing so much down and there is the risk that you're going to blow up on somebody and I've blown up on people and I really should not have yeah so, I bottle things yeah. so like um, if I'm upset at somebody and I'm like oh it's not worth doing anything I'll bottle that upsetness up mm -hmm. and then something else somebody else will do something and then I bottle that up and as I bottle things up um, it slowly uh, starts to boil over <laughs> mm -hmm. and then yeah I explode on people and usually I explode on the people closest to me so like poor Larry has gotten <laughs> some explosions <laughs> and maybe my mom a little and probably mm -hmm. my sister <laughs> mm -hmm. so you know it's like one of those things like you just kind of bottle things up and then it, yeah yeah I try really hard not to do that but I definitely um I've done that for sure yeah and I do try to take everything to the Lord first there are some moments where I know um when I had gotten upset that one time over chairs I, oh, had, I had a melt and it wasn't yeah. necessarily the chairs it was just building on top of it right, I, it was like the last it thing. was the last straw that I had it was just I don't even want to go into it but I was upset about chairs <laughs> and I just started crying right then there, there was nothing I couldn't escape there was nothing I could do I just started crying so we resorted to hugs hugs and that's the thing because hugs are great <laughs> and they fix a lot of things <laughs> and that's the thing if I can't escape and I'm with people I'm comfortable with I'll just 
cry and it's like I'll talk about it but usually even afterwards I try to always go to the Lord and there are days where I am journaling in prayer because I have a hard time focusing when I pray so I will write write it out and um, that is something that has helped me to be able to process my emotions better is writing or talking but that's how it, that has helped me because then I can say this is how I'm feeling this is why and just pouring it all out to God or in, even after sometimes or some and sometimes af- afterwards I tell other people so well and I think too like um, even some of our conversations like after you're still emotional mm-hmm. but you've at least kind of steamed out some of the heaviness of those right. emotions And it's, too, because when I'm in an emotional state, it's like there's just this fog covering my brain, so I'm not thinking as clearly as I would. And it's like, I know how I should be responding to this, but the emotions are just screaming at me, and I, it's overwhelming, and that's how I feel. And, um... It's, it's fine to be overwhelmed. It's just, how are we, where are we going to take them? Yeah, I think it's kind of similar to like when we're angry, right? Mm-hmm. Anger is an emotion as well. We're talking about more, I guess, along the lines of like um, our emotions when we cry, when mm-hmm. we're sad. Yeah. Um, but, but even angry emotions right. too. Anger is an emotion as well. And um, there's a lot of Bible verses that talk about, um, you know, being angry but not sinning Mm -hmm. in that anger so like there is we can be emotional um and not sin we can be emotional and sin Mm -hmm. it's just we have to be very careful it's a very fine line right um so i think it's just making sure that we don't overstep Mm -hmm. into the sinning side of of all of it in so, another, yeah. oh, sorry. Oh no, sorry. Yeah. So yeah. It, um, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say, um, cause speaking about emotions and sinning, we can go to a lot of different avenues to, um, numb the emotional pain that we have. And a lot of those avenues are sinful. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like you could go into f- with food, drugs, alcohol, sex, um, Right. TV, movies, just pour it. We can use different or just things. anything, right? right? Anything being just dis- or anything that we do that is not going to give glory to God, right? And it's just and people can get so sucked into sin struggles because of emotions. Yeah, you know, and it, and it's hard to get out of. It can happen, but it is very difficult once you get sucked in. It's not impossible, but it is difficult. Um, so, and that's why we have to be very careful with how, what we're doing with our emotions. And right, I agree. Um, and biblically, you know, we're gonna probably get into the unless there's something else. No, okay. I think we're getting to the biblical. Yeah, I mean, I kind of talks a little bit about it, right? Because like, right. Um, there's those Bible verses about um, anger and not sinning. Mm-hmm. Um, but so. also, like, you know, casting your care upon him, for he cares for you. Um, right, and be anxious for nothing, right? So being anxious is, I don't know, would that even be an emotion? It's more like a I feeling. Feel. But our emotions kind of stem, I mean, our emotions can lead to, I think, right. some um, anxieties and things like that. So, mm-hmm. And, yeah, anything we're feeling... You know, he, and the thing with God is like, he created us to have emotions because he has emotions too. Right. And I think even he uses emotions, um, you know, to talk to us and different things, not necessarily all the time and not necessarily like, um, I don't think it's like a popular thing (laughs) by any means. I, I don't know how to say that, but like, you know, our emotions are from the Lord because that's how he created us. So, um, not that we should rely on those emotions for answers, I guess is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that we're, don't trust your emotions all the time, right? Right, yeah, because your emotions can lead you in the wrong direction. Exactly. I've, I lived through, I've done it enough times to know that your emotions can lie to you. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> I think, like, you know, 
I specifically overanalyze a lot of things and then that causes my emotions to kind of go on a roller coaster um, and it causes my anxiety to go on a roller coaster mm-hmm. because usually I overanalyze on something so small and, and little and it doesn't even really matter. Right. Uh, but my emotions are saying it does and my anxiety is saying it does when really it's just the other person was like, no, I didn't think anything of that. But mm-hmm. but I made it out to be something, right. you know, that it wasn't because I let my emotions and anxiety um, build up or, or whatever. Yeah. It just, you know, they're... They can be a very dangerous thing. <laughs> yeah. So. And when you look at the Psalms, too, I love reading them because you can see each psalmist, a lot of them are emotional. And you can see the anger, the anguish, the fear, the everything. And they, Wasn't um, Jeremiah, um, he cried a lot too, yeah, right? So Jeremiah, right, he was a very emotional so, as well. And it's okay, but the way they, they always poured it out to the Lord, but then they always like turned it to praise. Right. There was always this like scary thing or fearful thing. And then they would turn that Right. And it would be like, but Lord, you are bigger right. and better and greater than, you know, whatever we're going through. And I think that's another way to combat our emotions is by looking at once we've been able to process everything, just go look at the promises of God and the blessings and everything that we can be thankful for, thankful for, and um, who he is and just remembering all this stuff. And I think that counters it when we're actively doing it. If we're not actively reading and praying and seeking him and remembering, it's not going to do anything for us. It, it's only when we're, we're like really digging into it. I agree. It. Cause that if we're doing all those things, but we're just checking that off as like a right. list, it's just, oh, okay. Oh, I that. did this. Oh, I did this. You're not really connecting with the Lord. You're right. just checking off your list. You have to really be seeking the Lord and really connecting with him. And then he will meet you where you're at. Mm-hmm. So, so, and that's, I mean, for me that, that works, that has been the thing that has been freeing and working well. I still fall sometimes, and it's a struggle still. Yeah, I think we all do. But all my emo- do. it's gotten easier to be able to handle my emotions because of God and because he's been, he knows everything we're feeling, and he knows what we go through, and he sees it. So it's not, it doesn't come as a shock to him. Right. Whereas, like, meltdowns and tantrums throw us off sometimes, but he doesn't. And I've even had meltdowns and tantrums to God internally. I think God it doesn't even phase him. He's no. just like, well, I love you. Pick yourself back up. <laughs> right. Um, so, and that's, that's a great feeling to have. So, Right, knowing that he's there, mm-hmm. even though, like, we are totally crumbling. Mm-hmm. I mean, just he's our rock and our... Um, Safe place. To yeah. Be. Our refuge. Yes. So... But I think, did we cover everything? I think so. All right. So if you guys have any other questions on emotions or you guys have comments, um, you know, go ahead and um, you can leave that in the comment section. And um, we will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye. See ya.